Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn about live data with view model. I have already covered view model in my previous video, so I'll highly recommend you to watch that video first before watching live data. Okay? All right. Coming back to today's topic, you remember these are the three components of MVVM, right? Model, view, and view model. Model represents the data. View is basically the UI. And view model acts as a bridge between model and view. Basically, it is responsible for managing UI related data and also for communication that takes place between view and model. Communication as in to send and receive requests to perform a particular action. Action as in to maybe update the data or delete the data. Got it? Now, focus between view and view model. This is where live data resides between view and view model. But what is live data? Live data is part of Android architecture components and also it is a data holder class that is observable, which means it can be used to hold and observe changes to the data. In very simple language, live data is like a special container that holds a piece of information and it can let other parts of your app know when that information changes. Let's understand it through an example. Imagine you are building a weather app that displays the current temperature for our city. So instead of manually updating or refreshing the temperature display every few minutes or whenever it changes, you can use live data. It's like live data holds the temperature data and the UI observes it. Whenever the temperature data changes, then the UI automatically displays the updated temperature value, which makes your weather app more dynamic and responsive without the need for manual updates. Got it? Now let's understand live data more through the project. So open Android Studio. Choose Empty Views Activity. Name the project as Learn Live Data. Let me give you a quick overview what exactly we are going to create. So we will be creating a counter app where if the user clicks on the button, then the count will be incremented by 1. Like 0, 1, 2, 3, that way. I know it's a very simple app, but again, our focus is to understand how can we use live data in the project. Also, it's the same app which we created before in view model, but this time we will be creating it with the help of live data. The use of live data ensures that any observer of the counter live data will be notified automatically when count value changes. This in turn triggers the UI update in the activity. Simple, right? Now let's create it. First, let's do the prerequisite. So go to color.xml, add the red color, hex code as ff3131, and then next go to themes.xml, add these three lines, color primary. Color primary variant and Android status bar color. And then now go to build.gradle app. Here add view binding. And click on sync now. And then, then as we want to use live data as well as view model, hence we will require both the dependency. You can find them in the description box. Then click on sync now. And then, close all the tabs. Now go to activity main.xml. Here I'll create a text view that represents the count and a button that will increment the count. So let me quickly create it. And done. See, parent layout as constraint layout. Then inside it, a text view whose ID is text view counter. And then below it, a button whose ID is button increment. And that's it. This is how it looks. Now 
Now comes the important part. As I previously said, live data is present between view and view model. So view is our activity main.xml. And now let's create view model. So right click on it. Create a new Kotlin class. Name it as my view model. This is where the magic happens. I already showed you how view model works. First is to extend class as view model. Perfect. So previously inside it, we created counter variable and its function, right? But now here inside it, I'll create live data. First, create a variable named as count live data. Then initialize it as mutable live data. And keep the data type as int. Now, what is mutable live data? Mutable live data is a subclass of live data that allows you to modify the value it holds. This means you can change the integer value stored in the count live data. Then we need to initialize the value. So let me quickly write it first. And done. Now see, init block is used to initialize properties when an instance of the class is created. Like in our case, init block is setting up the initial value as zero of the count live data property. Next, we need to declare live data. So let me quickly write it. And then, now see, here I have declared a variable that is counter live data as live data, which holds the integer values only. Then, get block is used to retrieve the value of count live data and provide it as the value of counter live data. Lastly, I'll create an increment counter function. So, let me quickly write it. And then, now see, this increment counter function will be used when the increment button will be clicked. Basically, it will increment the number by one. It goes like count live data dot value will retrieve the current count that is display on the text view. And then using question mark and colon that is Elvis operator, it sets the default value as zero. And then increment it by one. Simple, right? So quick overview, when you access the counter live data property, which we will do it in main activity, then it returns the value of count live data. This allows UI components to observe and access the counter value as live data without the need to directly access count live data. Great, right? Now let's move to main activity. This is where we will initialize the view model, observe the live data and increment the counter. So first, let me quickly set up binding. And done. Next, we need to access my view model function. So for that, we need to call my view model class. So let me quickly declare it. And done. Now I need to initialize my view model. So I'll write my view model as view model provider. C. View model provider is a utility class provided by ViewModel library that helps you to create and retrieve instances of ViewModel 
classes. For us, it's a my view model class. So first, I'll write this as the owner, this as the main activity itself. Then using get method, I'll retrieve the my view model class. This is how we initialize it. Next, we need to observe the live data. So I'll write my view model dot counter live data. Remember counter live data, not count live data. Okay. Then dot observe as this. Then create a count variable that will keep the count value. And then inside it, set the count on the text view counter using text method. Then add observer here. So here UI is observing counter live data and whenever the count change, it will immediately update the text view counter. See, so simple, right? Lastly, set on click listener on button increment. And then inside it, write my view model and access the increment counter function which we created in my view model class. And that's it. We are done with the coding. Now let's run the app. See, it's initially zero. Now I click on increment button. And look, the count goes like one, two, three, and so on. Perfect. The app is very easy. That's not even the concern. My concern is that you guys have understood how live data works, right? To make it easy for you, remember these four steps. First is mutable live data. Second is init block. Then third is live data. And then fourth is observing the live data. Simple, right? And that's it. For more updates, you can follow us on Instagram or join our Telegram group. Link in the description box. So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.